25 mil. Followed by another 25 mil. Okay, little stir. as well. Move the heating probe. Thought this was better. The acetic acid is not strong enough to attack the stainless steel of the temperature probe. As this warms it should dissolve. But in the meantime we will prepare our oxidizing agent which will be 10 grams of chromium trioxide. Up. 10 grams. This will be dissolved in water to make chromic acid. See, it is slowly going into solution. A tree fell in there. This is not good. I've added a better condenser and I'm going to heat this to 110 degrees where the acetic acid should start refluxing. some joinery. Uh, it looks like it's about to start raining. You can see just starting to boil. 107. To the chromium trioxide I add 10 milliliters of distilled water. This forms a chromic acid solution. Chromic acid is highly corrosive. To this we add 25 milliliters of glacial acetic acid, 10 at a time. We will charge this addition funnel. Since this anthracene doesn't want to dissolve, I'm going to proceed with the next step. I will begin adding the chromic acid in acetic acid to the anthracene in acetic acid. Heating is not required as the reaction will proceed with a reflux because it's exothermic. Already you see some chromic acid got in there and it's oxidizing the anthracene. I haven't even switched, I mean, turned the stopcock yet, but there were some, look at that, blue color. I was expecting green. It is a bit green. Yes, it's green now. And is this? It's added dropwise. The chromic acid is added too fast, a vigorous reaction happens, which I will demonstrate. This is not ideal, so slow addition is better. 
Uh, this can be left to cool down. Okay, I will let this cool. Now then, cooling water. I'm going to use to water my plants. this cools down, I'm going to pour it in some ice water. Here we go, some ice. There. And for quinoa it should be in there. This is kind of like not very frozen ice cubes, but it's going to be cold. So if I can get that into here. Plus the ice. Giving this a water washing. taking a long time to dissolve and a lot of acetic acid it has all dissolved so all we need to do is let this cool slowly crystals already 
Look at it. of it. Very fluffy.